Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna be creating like a yellow rose petal nail. Um, I've got these really pretty dried flower petals from um, a lady called Dawn Brownrig. Um, she has her own Facebook group called Dawny Bee Gems. Um, I also got from her these little like, they're like sprigs with little bulbs on the end. Um, they are really cute. So I, I'm really into like dried flowers and stuff at the moment. So I had to grab some of these because I think they're so lovely. I'm going to be using the petals today and this jaded, this is the chunky jaded glitter from Nail Sugar. Karen also does a fine glitter. I wanted to show you these as well. Dawn sent me these um, as a freebie um, because I was a new customer, which were greatly appreciated. I love them. If you look inside, there's like little pearls and roses and like moonstones. They're lovely. So those are a normal flat back pearls. That was one of the... I don't know if you can see very well, one of the pearl hearts and this is like, there's a pink moonstone and they do like a white moonstone in there and then there's like um, rectangular crystals and honestly it's, in, it's a little, oh, I wanted to show you this because it's so pretty. It's just like a really cute little pot of mixed stones and gems and flowers and pearls and stuff, it's so cute. This, this is the roses. I think they're metal, but I'm not sure, but they're really sturdy, so they won't... I thought they were paper at first, but then I thought, no, they can't be paper because they wouldn't last two seconds on a nail. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you those as well. So I'll leave the link to her Facebook group in the link below, and you can go and check out the other things that she sells. So I'm using my flexi finger with a tip in it, and I'm going to go in with Nao's Perfect Blush. This is going to be the... Um, base colour of our nail so I really like this coloured um, cover pink it is more of a pink than a peach I would say um, I really want to get as well Nao's Rose Glow I really like the look of that colour but well, I'll have to get I've just placed an order and I don't know why I didn't add it on which was a bit silly of me. So I'm gonna put the chunky glitter on the nail. I'm picking it up with a small bead of clear. So I'm gonna put it from, going from one corner of the cuticle area to the opposite corner of the free edge. So I just want it, I don't want too much. Actually, that is quite a lot. <laughs> but I wanted it um, just to give a little bit of extra coloring to the background. But I still want you to be able to see that nice, um, what do you call it, cover pink. So I stupidly, I keep doing this, I forgot to press record on my phone. But what I'm doing is I've chosen some of the yellow petals and I'm just sticking them to the nail using the clear acrylic. If you've got nail glue, that would be so much easier. I will have to dig my glue out, I have got some somewhere. The trouble is I don't use tips, I don't, so I don't really need the glue, so it's kind of it's somewhere probably in a trolley that I will probably never find ever again I don't know but I'll have to dig it out so I'm just using it to make sure that the petals are as flat as I can get them because I don't want to cap the nail and then the petals stick out the acrylic if you see what I mean um, so I'm gonna now I'm obviously gonna cap the whole nail in clear acrylic I only used two petals and I put them kind of going opposite each other because I didn't show you that because I forgot to press record because I am a twit. So once the clear acrylic has set I will go ahead and file and buff it as always. I do this off camera because it's the boring bit. So it's now been filed and buffed. Oh, I love it already. This is Soft Pastel Lemon from Nao. I'm gonna use this to create a 3D rose on top of the nail. But first I am going to, oh, can you see my gem? It's still stuck, stuck to my towel from the last nail. <laughs> so I'm top coating using CBD's tempered top coat. This 
this needs to cure in an LED lamp for 60 seconds and then I'm going to be using my size 4 3D alpha brush which is available from nailcessities.co.uk so I'm going to pick up a small bead I'm draining the liquid out of the back of my brush which you can't see because my kitchen towel is not in focus but I'm just going to create a moon shape and then using the belly of my brush I'm going to pat that petal out I can't think of the word um, I have done a tutorial on how to create um, 3D roses, which I will I'll link the video at the end of this video so you don't miss the end of this one because I love this nail. You're going to want to watch to the end. So when you get to the end, I will leave um, the, I think they call it an annotation or something, um, but I'll link the other video so you can go and watch that if you want to know how I create 3D roses. So I'm just going to make three of these rose petals, um, making the half moon shape and then pressing it out using the belly of my brush. Don't forget to come and find me on Instagram. So then I'm going to create the centre of the rose um, I'm going to place a bead in the middle again remember to drain the liquid out the back of the brush because you don't want the bead to start running um, you'll know when it's ready to poke because you'll be able to well it won't bounce back if that makes sense and this is the most difficult part of the rose you kind of have to create a donut and then split it and then work work it into a spiral to create the center this is the most trickiest part and this one turned out beautifully but sometimes I it looks it looks shit not gonna lie but this one spot on I got this one I was really pleased with this if I do say so myself <laughs> so that's the nail finished don't forget to comment on my latest giveaway video the winner will be chosen at random in the comments of that video so make sure you've commented to be in for a chance of winning um that's it Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.